Hey guys, this is Golden IDS, and I've been killed once before, so I'm saving him. Now, in the last, um, in the upcoming boss battle, you want beam attackers with you. Why? Because the boss is obviously weak against beam, very weak against beam, but it knows it's weak against beam and has got a shield. So you're gonna have to really watch out for that. Um, and it's just nasty. It really is just nasty. Um, it can hit you for 800 damage. So going in with the swimsuits like I did was a bit of a suicide mission because at one point it hit me for 11,000. Sorry, for 1,100. Um, and that just wiped the floor. I mean, Cosmos would have survived if it wasn't for the fact that she was just appallingly low health. Um, wasn't. I mean, it's not a hard battle. I'd almost floored it in a couple of minutes, but yeah. Ugh. That's the first game I've ever had in a while and I had to get all the way back here. Luckily I'd save before, after grinding and all that lot, otherwise I would have been extremely pissed. Now of course I save after grinding sessions. You're only a moron if you don't. So let's go over what I've done with the team. With tech attacks, I boosted um, Xion's Rain Blade and Lunar Blade. With Cosmos, I boosted her X Buster and our Dragon. And with Chaos, I boosted his Angel Blow. Which is another name for it. I don't even know. You obvi obvious statements are obvious. Now with Xion, I rearranged it to give a tech plus 25, which you can extract from the swimsuit for a thousand points, providing at level set at skill level five. Um, all guarded her and put ba um, put battle boost plus one. Now with Cosmos, I put W special tech plus 25. She had enough points to extract both from the craft apron, the skill plus 25, and from the swimsuit, the tech plus 25. That was nice. Now with him, I attacked what we. Uh, uh, sorry, got rid of um, what we called the... Uh, what was it called? The Tech Attack AC, which increases his critical hit rate um, for his high attacks. So any circle attacks um, that he's got equipped to high increases his chance of it being a critical, which means it's really... it's likely to just damage things. So, that said, what have I done to the equipped? Well, nothing with these two. Actually, you know, I equipped the boost back instead of the craft apron. I didn't want a 50% increase of... Um, a 50% extra skill points um, over a boost point, and with Shion, she's getting 50% extra tech points. But we're going to take the swimsuits off them um, in a small while, just let me get rid of the battle mask. Uh, the reason why I'm getting rid of the battle mask and replacing it with a cross is we've already got the battle mask, and there's no point having two of it. Unless, of course, I use recovery, uh, a new life stone, but as I said, most of these stuff I'm not too bothered with. I'm just looking for the. Um, that item. Where is it? That's not the one. Uh, is it me or I'm blind? I cannot see the cross. There we go. I wonder why the cross is such an, is an item. Anyway, now from here, the quickest way to do what you want to do is literally just go out and head up the stairs. The wonderful thing about Proto, Proto Macabre, um, after you've done all this, is that the wonders of science, um, after you've hit the switch, means that there's no enemies on the balconies, meaning you've just got a safe passage up to the top. Um, and then you've got two enemies which look almost the same size as your bosses you fought at the beginning of the game. No, they, they look smaller, bigger than the bosses you fought at the beginning of the game. Oh, we've got to defeat Enosis to get there, but whatever. Remember to turn these into, uh, use, to turn these into get the weapon for Momo. Um, I'm going to let it attack once. It's not going to do too much damage. Maybe it does do too much damage. But just take off the swimsuit when you come back, otherwise you will be a dying. And here again, here again, pardon me, here again we run into a problem um, of the game. Well, of, of uh, Cosmos, is that she's only able to hit the first row of attackers. But let, before I was dealing, what, 100 and nearly 11,000, no, sorry, nearly 1,100, like 2,000 with Xion, with which is ridiculous. Okay, well, she only get the next go, which is going to make me happy. Wow, your electric powers shock me. <laughs> oh, I'm a prat, and I obviously knew that. So, let's hope the Rainblade kills these guys, because I do not want that guy to get his boost in. Just, that just sounds like a section, but whatever. Let's go. Attack. Blam, blam, blam. 13,000 critical. I'm taking that. Plus two points. Meh. Now we've got to get the guy at the back. Uh, we want a boost as well, because I don't want him to get a go. Well, he's got to go now. Oh wow, he put his ice cold fingers on. Ringblade should seal, should seal the deal with a, uh, well, I was going to say a kiss, but that's only if I use Queen's kiss on him. 
Um, make sure you have someone who can steal the next battle because you can extract, extract a fast 50 uh, item for your eggs, which is a short way of saying I don't care. Um, so I'm not going to use Queen's Kiss. I'm just going to sacrifice one of Chaos's mini goes because I can. Uh, <laughs> there's no point at this, at this point in the game bothering extracting that amount of stuff from them. Uh, is it going to still get get get, get another go? Isn't it? Yeah. I should have really just boosted twice, but whatever. We'll just heal everyone after this battle. This took such a long time. Um, whatever. If this doesn't kill it, enough. What, did I really just do that? Oh, bloody hell. Really? Oh, she's got all guard. That's fine. <laughs> if you're gonna use it and ship me up, at least just I don't care. Point scores. Just sod it now. Sod it. Yeah, Cosmos. Clearing all systems for me. Absolutely wonderful. Well, now everyone's level 42. Chaos can be uh, upgraded statily. Statily. That, never mind. So, just to let you know that when you want character upgrades, they can actually can make every other character able to upgrade. So we're going to um, use all our... Oh, apart from poor Chaos. Use all our points on here. So, um, actually, no. Fatality would be a really nice one. Uh, Ether Attack would be nice. The defense, also nice, because I'm using... hate this when you go through and use all your points. And defense, and then of course I can't use strength. Same with Shion. Vitality is a definite of the next fight. The next, well, not next fight, it's the fight a little bit away. Uh, uh, always one-off. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a pain when you do that because you get rid of all your wonderful stat upgrades. It's really it's a bit of a nuisance, but whatever. Uh, make sure you no, actually don't make sure you're somewhat healed. The next two enemies, one has um this one here is against lightning, so I'm not going to bother analysing these. You can see anyway. Um, I can analyse them in my spare time anyway. And this one's against lightning, so heaven's wrath is a good tool. But beam is equally effective. In fact, I found she almost doing more damage with rainblade than uh friggin' what's his name? Chaos was doing with um. His attack, although not at the moment it would seem. Oh well, Xanthos, which is a rather retarded name, is about to feel the pain of being needled by Cosmos, which sounds like another unit. 110. I'm not used to seeing such small numbers. Uh, Heaven's Wrath, and then pretty much boost. I'm gonna just keep boosting, just to let it make sure he never gets a go. That's a very good thing you want to do with some of the fights later on, is to make sure they just never get a go. Uh, it really well. It would piss them off because it would piss me off if I was. The, if I was, the, I love the way she on punching with her bare fist on metal robots is still more powerful than Cosmos kicking it with a high heel. In fact, at this point, I don't think it needs to, uh, one attack just to seal the deal. 184, 180 times four points, which is good. We kept the swimsuits on because they'll make it about times six or something. They'll just distribute the points evenly, which means now we can probably. Um, do a bit more of the healing thing, but keep going this way. Um, get rid of these blocks. Sneaky, there's a door! And there's something in here. Gosh, I'm gonna... I'm way behind what I did in my last episode. But to be fair, the last... but that battle went a lot more smoother than it did in the last episode. It was the, um... I went up the other side, you see? Oh yeah, the chakra ring. What does the chakra ring do? Chakra shield. Uh... Doesn't say. Can't bother looking up. It probably isn't that necessary. <laughs> that's that's going to be my famous last word. Anyway, head this direction, and we can get to the final, the final non-final boss of the game. So the penultimate. I don't even. Okay, so just wail on this guy. Absolutely wail on him. We get Beam, which is fan. His name is Iosis. We get Beam. Um, Iosis. Iosis is the name of something with Toho. Music-wise, Toho, isn't it? Anyway, um, this guy is ridiculously easy. As we've got strong beam attackers, he just doesn't stand a chance, and really, this boss is... Well, this... This normal enemy-sized boss... Sorry, this boss-sized normal enemy... That's it, get it right. It's just... Shion just tears the guy down with beam. It's ridiculous. She's meeting. Well, I've never seen that before, but it does look kind of cool. It's something Rob would do in his final smash. Who? Who? And um, there's some, uh, what's it called for you? There's some, I don't know what it's called, and I'm just going to say it. Uh, the wonders of having, um, of having seven 
seven milliliters of seven blah 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 blah. Anyway, times four points for that as well, meaning everyone will be in a very very happy place. I don't know, that wasn't that didn't even sound right. So we're just going to go through and just finally change up the team. Mainly, we want to get rid of those swimsuits. Um, as you see, when you put on some well, see shield arm 111. I would put on the shield arm, but is there anything more powerful than the shield armor currently? There is. The Tektron clothes. Put on those and you can be, well, enjoying a wonderful, lovely, I'm not going to get hurt much. Uh, 113 is what we're looking for, isn't it? Tektron clothes, there we go. So we're going to go into characters and just sort out the tech, the tech boosts. Everything else is pretty much done. Just, since we've got the points, we may as well up them. There's no point I don't even bother with ever with anything else apart from actually maybe maybe HP would be a wise thing to do. No, I don't think it would. Why not? I'm gonna do it just this once, just because I want to kind of actually Shion will be even better with the health, but she can't, uh, which is a shame. But there we go. Right. So what we're gonna do now is gonna heal up uh, using all your med kits that you've acquired in different places. So there's really no point in worrying about those. Another pack S is, and we go into this battle. Everyone apart from uh, Chaos is going to come out of the battle with some awesome uh, points. Anyway, you want to kill everything in this. There's three different things in this battle. You want to kill everything on it on a point squad. You want to also steal from it, so make sure Chaos is up is up for that challenge. In fact, no, I just want to check out um, Shion's other other attacks because I'm pretty sure she's still got a, an appalling set of others that I didn't change. Yeah, she's got Dominion Tank. That was nearly a horrible mistake. Uh, safety level. Uh, that would be nice for medical rest. Actually, safety level would be really nice. Actually, you know what would be really nice? Best ally. Without a doubt, where's best ally? There we go. Eight points. So just unequipped everything from him. In fact, no. Leave Psycho Pocket on. Leave Supreme Judgment on. Uh, get rid of medical boost one, and then put best ally on. Why? Because best ally um, basically is like auto life, definitely worthwhile. Uh, 